Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Norvell with the On Your Side forecast. Well, if you step outside today, it was definitely on the chilly side. You know, we had about 53 or 54 for a high temperature, but that was before the rain came in, although we had rain in the morning. It warmed up to that, and then it's been staying in the 40s. I've got a temperature in southwest Boise now, 48 degrees. It's going to stay chilly for some time to come. Here we go. Look at a downtown Boise from the Red Lion Hotel. 48 degrees. The wind is calm. Uh, pressure is rising. So the wind has settled down as the year mass has stabilized a little bit. But you can see that gloomy sky and there's a pretty heavy rain just northwest of Boise right now. And that heavy rain shower will move right along the foothills and hit Boise here over the next uh, few minutes or so. Look at this 10 day forecast. 53 was today, but that was earlier today. We're running around 48, 49. So tomorrow will be just as chilly. It will be drier, though, during the day tomorrow, which would be kind of nice if you have uh, uh, to get outside maybe just uh, stretch the legs a little bit, it will still be chilly. And then notice the chances of precipitation. They're lower, but into the weekend, we still have a chance for some rain. The mountains, rain and snow will continue. It's been amazing what's been going on on the higher elevations with snow flying. That's right, snow in the McCall area today and, and some heavier snow up in the higher elevations above that. And it looks like we'll continue to keep that cool weather around. Snowpack looking good. A bump of a, a few percent in the Boise Basin, 3%, and up to 6% of a bump between the Weezer and Payette Basins because of the significant snow that we had. So this is very appreciable and some good numbers here. There's still some more precipitation tonight, but the core of it is finished, although those numbers will probably go up another percent tomorrow because of what's fallen since that measurement was taken this morning. All right, here is my drive-through forecast. Yesterday, I was talking about how uh, unsettled the weather would be today. Tomorrow, that's just cold is what we're going to be dealing with in the morning. Partly cloudy, add a little bit of cold by lunchtime. We'll keep adding the cold all day long, by the way. 42 at lunchtime, 42 in the evening. Generally, partly cloudy, at times mostly cloudy. It's just going to feel real chilly and a bit of a breeze in the afternoon, early evening will make it feel uh, even colder outside. Something to keep in mind. Latest Doppler radar, some heavy rain on the northwest side of Boise, between Boise and Eagle right now. This is sliding off to the east. It's raining by the connector, the heaviest of rain, again, right around State Street to Chinden Boulevard, uh, tracking towards the east, northeast, uh, going up over Bogus Basin as well. That will continue to move to the east, southeast, as the Doppler radar continues to show scattered showers. A few more of those likely this evening. Even some thunderstorms earlier today, especially in the northern and eastern sections. Our wider view is going to continue to show an uh, upper level area of cold air off the coast. And by the way, near Kennewick, looks like uh, there was a funnel cloud. Actually, there may have been a, a tornado report there. I haven't noticed that. That just popped in. Let's see if I can take a quick look here and try to analyze what this says here. Not far from Kennewick, I can get this local storm report to pop up on my computer. It's responding a little slowly right now, but uh, let's see here. It says, Richland, uh, numerous videos and reports from the public and broadcast media confirm the occurrence of a tornado of unknown intensity, probably an EF0, in the northern portion of the city of Richland, about 2.30 local time. That's 3.30 our time and lasting for just a little while there. So uh, unstable air, cold air like this aloft can cause these small tornadoes to form. So something to just think about there. The big picture again shows that it's just going to remain chilly, but we will be drying out over the next several days. I guess that's the good news, and the forecast will continue to call for, look at the snow, by the way, up in McCall, up Brundage Mountain. The snow stake went all the way up to about 19 inches, and then they cleared the stake, and it added another inch and a half. It, it just continues to come down in those higher elevations. Very impressive snows falling in Idaho's central mountains there. And if we can take a look at the forecast, computer response is real slow today. So I'm going to just tell you that tomorrow is going to be on the chilly side. We'll look at the extended forecast here. That's one thing I can show you with temperatures in the upper 40s, definitely on the cold side. The morning temperatures in the upper 20s in these locations, and it looks like we'll see only a slow rise in temperature getting into the 50s, maybe over the weekend. So some cold mornings ahead, Roland. Uh, if it wasn't as cold that, uh, this morning, but tomorrow will get colder as we start to dry out, and then the breeze will be out there as well. So chilly conditions continue. Uh, what can I say? It's it's the last day of, of um, March, and as we go into April, it doesn't get much warmer than this. But we're getting the moisture in the mountains. That's good news. That is great news. Boy, I can't believe the amount of snow that has come down, though. Yeah, Ridiculous. It's looking great. It'll help the snowpack. It will. All right. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate it.